Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I install this V part wig from Beauty Forever Hair. This is like my fourth or fifth time trying a V part wig and I feel like I'm slowly getting the hang of it, but at the same time I'm not. I feel like this is my best looking one. I feel like I said that about the last one, that it was my best looking one, but I feel like this one is literally my best looking one because I feel like the color and the curls, I just feel like it, it takes away from this. <laughs> like you can't really, you don't really notice that because you see the color first and you see the curls and how big the hair is. So I feel like it makes it look a lot more natural than if it was just like a natural color curly one. I don't know, like I really like this one. I'm really enjoying the color on my skin tone at least. This video is obviously gonna be super duper quick because these wigs take like five minutes tops to install. You don't need glue, you don't need spray, you don't need gel. You literally can just, you don't even have to have your hair braided down. My hair is in a slick middle part bun, low bun, and that's all you need to do. That's all I ever do. I it's very rare i don't even braid my hair for wigs anymore like i really don't i don't even braid them for frontals or closures i found my ways to like get around that because i don't know how to braid so i found my ways this video is gonna be super duper quick i'm gonna have all hair details down below for you guys did i say this is from beauty forever hair i hope i did but it's from beauty forever hair the site will be linked below and everything you guys need will be linked below and don't forget to like comment subscribe if you're not already let's just go ahead and get into it So this is the finished look. I feel like this is the best that I've applied a V part wig so far. Even though it's like colored, I was kind of I was very scared of this wig, honestly. Um, whenever they uh, mentioned that they wanted to send it to me, I was very scared of it because of the color. And I haven't had like a good. I don't know. I haven't had like the best of luck with V part wigs, so I was just like, there's no way that I'm gonna be able to blend this with my hair because my hair is not colored. My hair is straight. Well, um, I have my hair straightened. So I was just like, there's no way I'm going to be able to do any type of leave out. So I'm going to have to really make this wig look good. But I feel like this is the best that I have applied a V part wig. I feel like the color just like helps, um, helps make it look more, I don't want to say natural, but I feel like the color does help it look a little bit more natural. Um, I probably should have cut it a little bit. 
because I'm kind of feeling like this with this color it should be like this short but I won't cut it because I may or may not sell this wig and someone may want it to be long so I'm not gonna cut it I just try my best to like fluff it up and make it look a little bit more natural but I feel like this okay I have like this little piece of my hair like hanging out and I'm just trying to tuck it behind my ear but I feel like this is the best that I have applied a V-part wig I feel like I've, I've, I've tried a couple of V-part wigs probably like four or five now and this is definitely my favorite I feel like the last one I said was my favorite, but I don't know. I guess I just, I think just the color and I don't know. I just feel like this one just looks the best out of all of them I've tried. I don't know. You guys, you tell me what you think. Do you think this is the best one? This one is from Beauty Forever Hair. I'm going to have all their hair details down below. Um, but before I close out, I just want to show you guys like, I mean, I don't know, like, I don't really know how to get it to look any more natural than that. Like on camera, I feel like it looks a little crazy. In person, if I'm just like sitting here and then there's someone like in front of me, I don't really think you will be able to tell. Like unless you're just like up in my face, you should not be that close anyways. But it just looks so, I don't know, like in my mirror, like I'm looking at it in my mirror because I have a mirror behind the camera and it just looks really good to me. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know but it looks so nice this is probably like 22 or 24 inches i'm not sure but it'll be in the description box also this time i did kind of go in with my hot comb and kind of like press down the top because i just feel like in the past when i have done these v-part with these v-part wigs it was always like super like curly and bunched up at the top so it just didn't really look right to me so i decided to try that and i feel like that helped a little bit i could have like laid my edges a little bit too but mm -mm. I don't feel like laying my edges because I just don't be wanting to put product on my hair anymore because I don't really like to like weigh it down and like all that edge control build up. So I didn't do that, but I think it's really pretty. I like the color. Um, if I could do anything differently, I would probably like would I tone this with purple shampoo? I feel like I kind of would because I feel like it looks a little brassy on camera. In person, it looks a little bit more cooled down, but on camera, it looks a little brassy. But I would definitely probably tone it with purple shampoo. Yeah, that's going to be it for this video, you guys. This wig was sent from, this wig is from Beauty Forever Hair. I'm going to have all the hair details down below for you guys so you guys can check them out. I do recommend the V-Bar wigs. I... I feel like if you're able to have like a tiny bit of leave out, they're like the perfect wig. But like with one like this, I wouldn't be able to have a leave out at all because my hair isn't curly like this. And it's also black and it's also straight. So I can't really do any type of leave out. So I feel like if you can get like a straight V part wig or one that matches your texture, you would love it. So I do recommend them. They're very simple to wear. You can take them on and off. You don't have to keep them on. They're not like a huge commitment, like a frontal or a closure. You have to have glue. You don't have to have glue at all. So I do recommend them. So I'm gonna have all the hair details down below for you guys. I feel like I've said that like five times now. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Love, love everything about you, your smile, your style.